grassroots advocacy and community building to improve the quality of life for business owners and residents of Honolulu's Chinatown. It's what the Chinatown Business and Community Association has been doing since 2009. And joining me now from the CBCA are its president and founder, Chu Lan Schubert Kwok. Aloha, and thank you. <laughs> Rafia Hasina, who is one of our directors. Thank you, ladies, for being here with us. Aloha. Thank you so much. You know, we're very excited for the event that's coming up this Saturday, but before we get to that event, can you please share with our, our viewing audience what the CBCA does, a specific to the weed and seed program? Right. CBCA was founded to preserve and protect Chinatown. It's the oldest Chinatown in the United States. So we feel like it is a very important historic place uh, where we have multicultural and interracial harmony for so long. Yes. And it is our very own unique Chinatown. I love so that. So we just love Chinatown. Yes. And uh, we want Chinatown to grow and be more healthy, cleaner, and safer. busier, and safer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so what, that's what the Weed and Seed program is all yeah, about, Yeah, and right? then the Weed and Seed came in 25 years ago and is to help seed organizations with programs to help young people from doing right things and then to weed out the bad stuff. So it's called Weed and Seed. So Weed and Seed and CBTA join forces to create the Hawaii Buddha Peace Festival to bring some joy and peace and harmony between people from different walks of life. I love this. And so that, because we went through a very traumatic uh, pandemic. Yes. And it, people it lost hurt jobs. Everybody. Yeah. Yes. And there's so much stress and pain. And we feel like Buddha is a good symbol for peace in the world. And so why not bring that aspect and then all the interfaith people, like we have Muslim group, we have so many other groups coming together uh, to unite for a peace message for everyone. I love this. And it's for healing. I, our it's community. beautiful. So you we're know, doing this. Yeah. Yes. And Rafia, I understand that this is the first inaugural. This mm. is the first of its kind. Yes. Mm. And this is something that you folks want to do on a yearly basis, yes. right? Yes. Can you tell me some of the activities that are going to be happening at the at the Peace Fest? We have many activities there. Peace and the Kukuna activities there. Also, Flora Liu, the famous designer, coming for the assessment you know, and to helping and the, giving the, some kind of assessment of the jewelry giveaway and and some kind of training, yeah? So, yeah. So this is very good yeah. things. And yes. also, Hena is coming, Hena Tattoo. So you'll be enjoy the, you know, design on your palm. Oh, it's that, wonderful. Yeah, so you really are, this is really a multicultural yeah. event. We, we we're doing, we doing uh, activities for Keiki IDs and Kupun IDs because a lot of Kuputans are lost and they don't have an official HPD ID so they can find their family and say, oh, we got a lost person here and so contact. Them safe. And also yes. the kids to keep them safe. And so, lots of food yes, vendors will be there. We have 16 too. ethnic food stores. Wow. Filter courtyard. And then we have other nonprofits advocating for, like we have domestic violence trafficking, on all these with wellness messages uh, along the river. So we have eight booths with 16 groups I in there. I love that. So. Now we've got just about 30 seconds. Can you give us the details on what time and where? Oh. And maybe scoops on parking? Yeah, yes. 10 o'clock on Saturday to 6 p.m. This Saturday. All day. So we have 11 speakers on, very well-known speakers on, including our U.S. attorney, Claire Connor is gonna come. And then also maybe the governor is gonna show up. Nice. And then we have, uh, leaders of the um, religious and non-religious group talking peace so that people can get together and move forward and leave the pain behind. I love heal. this. And then uh, activities to help like henna, uh, children's artwork, and then uh, some will be about talking about nutrition, healthy eating and everything that got to do with wellness, yes. financial wellness, mental wellness, emotional wellness, and, and spiritual aloha. wellness. Yeah. Yes. So that's the purpose of this. I love this. Yeah. So this is our inaugural beautiful Hawaii Buddha Peace yes. Festival happening this Saturday, 10 a.m. It's free admission for families, but come on oh, down parking. and join us. Parking. Okay. Chinatown <laughs> is a secret. $3 parking from morning 6 o'clock 
to midnight oh, okay. on Sunday, Beautiful. Sunday, and public holidays. Got and it. on weekdays, from 5 p.m. to midnight is three dollars. <laughs> okay. So come by. I have nine garages for you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Julan and Rafia. You folks are oh, awesome. I want to give I, you a shirt. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Why well, tell you what? Oh, it's oh, a beautiful fun. shirt. Yeah. Yes, Dina girl. Thank you. And, and so one for Davey D. Davey D. That's <laughs> wonderful. All right. Well, while while we're getting our wonderful and these gifts are here, special Hawaii Buddha shirts that we're gonna do that every year. Awesome. Yeah. I'm gonna check in right now with Danielle Tucker, yeah. and she's you. Know, we're not worried about parking on that. We're yep. worried about the traffic. Let's find out what's happening right there with our Pauhana traffic. Danielle.